Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday morning and I just wanted to chat with you guys while I do my skincare, so let's put you somewhere. So first we are gonna tone my face. I got my cotton rounds. This is a new thing that I just actually got. It is the first daily brightening solution. I actually got it at Target um, last night. Anyway, I just figured I would like vlog this morning because I feel like I just make so many fashion videos these days and don't actually talk to you guys about all the other things going on in life. I don't know, I've just been feeling really, really weird lately and I like to start my weeks off on a really good foot, but I can't lie to you guys, I've been feeling <laughs> just like a lot, um, a lot of anxiety lately and a lot of my depression lately and a lot of body dysmorphia lately, which if you've been following me for a really long time, you know that I'm in recovery from an eating disorder. I'd say I've been in recovery for like two and a half years now, I would say. And I've been in like a really good place solidly for like a very long time now, I'd say like a year, a little over a year, but like a year very solidly, I could say. Um, and by that I mean, you know, I'm eating what I need to eat and I'm being nice to my body and I'm treating my body with respect and treating other people's bodies with respect, the way I talk about bodies with respect and just, I don't know, working on unlearning a lot of the like internalized fat phobia that a ton of us, like all of us, have ingrained inside of us that we might not even know is there. I definitely didn't know it was there for a very long time. Um, I'm in a place that I never really thought was possible for me. I really went through my whole entire life thinking I was gonna have an eating disorder for the rest of my life, thinking that my body and like how small I could get my body was like the most important thing I had to offer this world. And I was really, really, really swept up in that for literally the first like 25 years of my life. Um, I'd say starting around like age six <laughs> is when I started having those thoughts and feelings and like restricting and like understanding like you could control what you put in your body and it overtook my mind to where it was a part of me for so long and for so long now like the past year I've been in such a good place a place I just that feels so different um you know those of you guys that have been through eating disorders like know that it's kind of like this long path where like you have so many ups and downs and there's so many different times you might try to recover or go to a treatment center or not go to a treatment center because by the way, literally none of that shit matters. Like if you're watching this and you struggle with body image or eating and you think you might have a problem but you might not think it's legit enough because of your size or because you haven't been to treatment, because you haven't been diagnosed because like new slash like so many doctors don't know how to diagnose eating disorders, don't understand that they can look so many different types of ways and that they're just like not just like skinny, skinny white girls. Um, and that's something I had to unlearn as well. But if you're watching this and you're struggling, but you think all those things mean your struggle isn't valid, it's not true and it's very valid. And I'm telling you that because I have encountered an immense mass groups of people in the past couple of years uh, that I've met online, that I've met in person, that look completely different ways, that come from completely different backgrounds, diagnosed, undiagnosed, treatment center, not treatment center, whatever. Um, and each one of them has had like their own valid story to tell and their struggle is totally real. Anyway, I just feel like lately I've been so proud of where I'm at, but I've also um, over the past couple of weeks definitely been struggling and it's like jarring. Um, it's really jarring. Yesterday, Sunday, I was having so much body dysmorphia. I woke up and all I could think about was my body and my face. Like, I literally, I, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And I had this loud voice just yelling at me about what I was eating and about control and about just like things that I haven't been yelled at for in a really long time. I haven't heard that voice in a really long time and it's jarring. And yesterday Tyler was like, okay, like think about a year ago, year and a half ago, what did you do when that voice popped up? And you know, I was like, you know, it felt less jarring then. It felt, it just felt like something that was easier to manage because I was so used to just living constantly managing it. And now that I'm at this place in recovery where I'm not like managing my recovery and my eating disorder every day because it is part of my daily habits and my daily routine. And not just that, it's part, it's ingrained in my mind now. Like 
loving my body, ex not just loving my body because that's like an extra step, accepting my body, being very neutral about my body and putting just like immense more focus on the other things that make me me, like my personality and my work and my empathy for others and just things like that, my relationships with others, like putting more weight on those the way that I make other people feel. I said something when I did that talk in Philly uh, like two weeks ago, uh, that really like when I listened to it back, I didn't even remember saying it, but like it really rung true to me even though it was like me saying it and this was it. The way that I make other people feel matters so much more than what my pants size is. And hearing that, I was just really, really proud of myself for, for saying that. I was really proud of myself for being at a place where I believe that because I do wholeheartedly believe that the way that I make other people feel and the way that I make myself feel matters so much more than my pant size or what I look like. I've just been struggling though the past couple of weeks. Like it just is what it is um, and it's hard. It, I feel like it just is more jarring at this point in my recovery like to have that voice pop up again and not be as used to it popping up and not be as used to like having to manage it and it's, it's made me struggle the past couple days. Not in terms of what I'm eating because I definitely know that that's the track to stay on and that I'm not depriving my body of food because, you know, oh my God, this thing is like going crazy. I'm so sorry that like this has been the setup of this video. I just feel like I can never like sit down in a very like structured environment to talk about this kind of stuff on camera. It feels really weird. It feels really forced. It feels really fake. Um, and I just woke up this morning and I wanted to talk about it, honestly, to get my Monday morning going, to get my Monday morning going well. And just let you guys know that like, I know I haven't talked about it a lot on this channel, but I struggle with my body image and um, it's something I've struggled with my entire life. It's something I'm definitely like on the other side of now. I definitely like don't say that I have an eating disorder. I oh I say I'm in recovery from an eating disorder. I that I don't also don't say I'm recovered because I, who the hell knows what that looks like. I think it looks completely different for all of us. So I'm just doing my best, and I just wanted to let you guys know that I've just been feeling it lately. I've been feeling the anxiety. I've been feeling the depression. I think that there's just like so many things in my life that I want to do, and I feel like I'm in this like weird waiting game of like waiting for luck for me to be able to do all the things I want to do. Um, yeah, I get really hard on myself. I know I talk a lot about my channel about being nice to yourself and kind to yourself and celebrating yourself. And I do all those things. I practice all those things every day and I believe those things, but that doesn't mean that like I am not hard on myself. I, and I don't even realize how hard I'm being on myself and then I meet up with certain friends that I can be very real with, like Carrie Dayton. I'm sure all of you guys know her, she is just a really good friend. And I think every time I'm with her, she says to me like, Macy, you need to stop being so hard on yourself. And it's just because like, I have such big dreams and I know that I can make them a reality. I just feel <sighs> a little anxious sometimes, a little nervous, a little am I doing the right things with my life kind of thing. Um, I think a lot of us go through that no matter what like career path we're going down, but like entertainment in general is just so, Crazy, I moved to LA three years ago, heavy in my eating disorder, just done with college. Studied retail merchandising, fashion product development, um, and was very focused on fashion, even though I knew that's not what I wanted. I've wanted to be an entertainer my whole life. Um, but my eating disorder really convinced me I couldn't do certain things anymore. Not just my eating disorder, but like the depression, anxiety that I was festering like from my eating disorder. Like it always just was, I lived in a constant state of like this. Literally this, like I was always shaking, always thinking, always being mean to myself, always putting myself down, 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 down. Has this been too distracting? Next time I will not do the face mask while I'm doing this. Or maybe it should be Macy Mask Chats. I think I said that a couple months ago that I wouldn't do that, Macy Mask Chats. Comment down below if we like Macy Mask Chats. Anyway, um, you guys can like throw on a mask and we can do this together. I would love to do this weekly, oh my gosh. I wanna do this weekly. I wanna be able to talk to you guys about more than just fashion. Anyway, back to the story. I moved out here for fashion. Um, for entertainment. I mean, like, that's what I knew I wanted to do, um, but I didn't have any connections to the entertainment industry. And, you know, I did all the things I could in high school to, like, try to propel myself there, like, doing the TV in school, running the TV station in school, being in that class, like, doing all of those things. I was trying, I'm from Ohio, like, no connections to the industry. And when I moved out here, I was working with a celebrity stylist for a while, assisting her. I learned a lot about like, just how to be on set, how to put clothes together, how to put outfits together, like just how to work with talent, how to do all these things, but just realized that like, 
I wanted to be on the other side of that. Um, I wanted to be in front of the camera. I wanted to create shows. I wanted to do all these things. And then I just started doing more freelance work, um, video editing and whatnot, because I've been doing that. I learned how to video edit when I was in high school. And now I'm doing Blazed and Glazed, which is obviously like, a calling, like making this community with you guys. It's so important to me, making LA Thrift Queens, making my videos, doing all the things that I can do to support myself so I can keep doing Blaze and Glazed and put so much of my time into it. So if you guys ever wonder, content creator, that's like what I say because I feel like I'm in this weird place where I'm way too, I don't know, kind of insecure to call myself a YouTuber because of the size of my channel, but also like you guys are so fucking amazing. And like, I feel like we have such like a powerful, strong channel and like I have so much fun and like I'm so, freaking proud of it, um, that I wish numbers didn't matter so much. I wish luck didn't play such a part in the career that I want. Um, but also I do freelance work. I go on auditions. I am doing all of the LA things that um, aren't weird to people here. I feel like it's very much like the LA hustle of like doing everything you can do till your dreams come true. Um, but I know it like seems weird to people. They don't live here sometimes. But for me, it's like so worth it because my dreams are so big. And I wanted to be an entertainer since I was literally born like it's all i can ever remember wanting to do except for loving fashion too but i think that fashion was always like in the back of my mind like okay if you don't make it but i've also like looky always been like you gonna make it ho so i don't know just brain dumping on you guys today while i do my mask i think it's time to take this puppy off now we gotta do some sunscreen but yeah, when it comes to the body image stuff, I just hope that you guys can remember that you're amazing just the way you are and that you don't need to listen to people on the internet or in real life who try to tell you to shrink yourself or try to convince you that certain ways of eating or certain ways of living are the thing that works for everyone or whatever what you need to be doing to be successful or be amazing or be beautiful or whatever you're all of those things just by being yourself and that's something i have to remind myself of too every single day because i have been getting hella down on myself in my mind i've been really really struggling with the things that i hold dearest to me which is positivity and treating myself and others with empathy and respect and like i've been struggling with that um, I haven't been like failing in that. I haven't been like letting my practice like all the way down or anything. I just, I've been struggling and I've been hearing my eating disorders voice kind of yelling at me a lot. And just instead of um, festering in those emotions or dropping back into those feelings or deciding, you know what, it's yelling at me loud enough. It must be right, I should believe it. That's something I used to always think. Like, I know that's not true, so I shut that down. Um, I don't let it overtake me. I don't let it rule me and uh, I just wanted to share all of that with you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed the first Macy Mask Chat Mondays. I think I'm gonna post this every single Monday if you guys want, if you guys like. You can comment down below and let me know things maybe you want me to talk about next week. Um, Cause it's either gonna be whatever the hell's on my mind or whatever the hell you guys wanna talk about. My face looks fire. Honestly, let's just say some nice things to ourselves in the mirror to end this out today. If you haven't done it yet, let's do it with me. You're amazing. I'm proud of you. I'm proud as shit of you um, for not giving into your eating disorder voice, for not giving into the voice telling you to talk shit on yourself, and for believing in yourself every day because you're a fucking rock star, bitch. Yes. Okay, if you're new and not subscribed already, hit subscribe down below, and I will see you guys back here with a thrift haul, a big ass savers 50% off thrift haul on Wednesday.